In this video, we will take up an example of uh, controller design using the k-factor method and uh, this example corresponds to the design of uh, output voltage control loop for uh, a simple buff converter. For this example, the uh, power stage specifications are input voltage ranging from 20 to 30 volts and for the design of the controller, I will assume that the nominal voltage is 25 volts but I will verify that the system behaves and behaves well, uh, stable and uh, has a uh, good phase margin and they're all, um, uh, all input conditions. The output voltage is to be regulated to 12 volts and the load current can vary from 1 ampere to a maximum of 5 amperes and once again I will consider um, uh, I think 3 amperes as the nominal current under which I designed the controller uh, but also go ahead and verify that the system is stable and has reasonable performance under other load conditions as well. The switching frequency is 400 kilohertz and uh, with this information we know how to design the power stage of the uh, of the buck converter and that has been done and the obtained uh, component values uh, mainly for the filters are uh, shown here. The output inductor L is 24 microhenry, output capacitor 500 microfarad which also has an ESR of um, 0 0.08 or 80 milliohms. The uh, control specifications given um, to us is that um, it, it should have a bandwidth of 10 kilohertz and it should have a phase margin of uh, 60 degrees at the uh, nominal conditions under which we are actually designing the controller and we are also required to um, uh, achieve zero steady state error. So in order to design the controller we need the uh, model of uh, the small signal model of the buck converter. So uh, in an earlier video uh, using the um, um, small signal average model of the uh, uh, of the power pole we were uh, able to derive the input the D to output voltage transfer function uh, as shown here. So this is the D to VO transfer function for a buck converter and uh, it has uh, uh, a zero uh, due to the ESR and this uh, complex pole pair due to the output uh, um, LC filter. Um, so we will see that, uh, that in our um, K-factor based uh, controller design method we will use um, these, um, uh, this transfer function as our plant transfer function. The K-factor method to design of controllers uh, we covered in detail in an earlier video. Uh, essentially it involves these five steps. Uh, we start with determining the uh, phase of the plant at the required crossover frequency 10 kilohertz in this example. Uh, we have an expression for the required phase boost from this uh, k-factor uh, controller and uh, you will see that it turns out to be um, between 0 and 90 degrees so a type 2 controller is, uh, is needed and um, um, we have an expression for calculating the k-factor k as shown here and omega z and omega p are given by these expressions. Uh, once we have designed these um, um, pole zero locations, then we can calculate the last parameter in the type two controller, namely in this constant gain kc. And for that, we need to get the um, uh, the, op the open loop gain of the entire system with the um, kc set at zero. Uh, once we have that magnitude, then one over uh, that magnitude is the required kc. So in this video, I will uh, actually do the design using uh, uh, MathCAD script and uh, using the controller um, parameters, namely those poles or locations and the constant gain. Um, I will uh, feed those values into um, uh, both the frequency domain and time domain simulation in Plex and validate uh, our controller design under various uh, operating conditions. So here is the MathCAD script for the uh, type 2 k-factor controller design. Um, for this specific example, we wanted um, you know, the crossover frequency omega c to be 10 kilohertz. So omega c is uh, omega c is 2 pi uh, times 10,000 radians per second. The phase margin is given in degrees as 60 degrees. The uh, component values L of 25 microhenry is uh, 0 0.08 uh, final microfarad output capacitor. Uh, this is the load resistance. Um, I mentioned I'm designing for a 3 ampere nominal load current. So the 12 volts divided by 3 amperes is 4 ohms. Uh, nominal input voltage was chosen as 25 volts and the output is um, required to be regulated at 12 volts. The plant transfer function I showed in the previous slide um, so that has been written in uh, MathCAD uh, so this is the uh, ESR0 the um, complex pole pair 
due to the uh, LC components. Um, I can also get the values of this corner frequency of this LC resonant uh, pole and that happens to be at 1.45 kilohertz and uh, the ESR0 uh, is after that uh, at uh, 3.9 kilohertz. So the first uh, step in the uh, K-factor based controller design method is to calculate what we call as the phi cis, which is the um, phase uh, of the phase angle of the system with, uh, without the controller. That is the phase angle of the plant. So I assume that the gain of the PWM block is one and also assume a unity feedback system. Therefore, the phase of the system without the controller is nothing but phase of my plant, which is the due to VO transfer function, what is shown here. So just get the uh, angle of this transfer function at uh, S equals J omega C. So this uh, ARG at, uh, of GP at J omega C gives me that angle. And uh, in degrees, it is minus uh, 108.2 degrees. Um, so this is what this is what we will do if we know the transfer function, which in this case for a simple bug we do know the transfer function. But if for some other, let's say, more complicated converters for which uh, we we are not able to derive the transfer function, then we can actually rely on simulation to get this uh, uh, this information, the phi cis. Okay. So let me just uh, explain how we can get this uh, from Plex for this example case of a bug converter. Okay, so I constructed the uh, bug converter schematic in uh, in Plex. Um, so you can see the this is a complete switch model. The L um, R, C with the ESR uh, the load they have all been modeled. Um, I can also show the parameter values, simulation parameters, initialization. Uh, you can see that all of the L C ESR values correspond correspond to our example problem, um, uh, as well as the load resistance and the input voltage and so on. Okay. Now these values I will explain later, but those are the um, type 2 controller um, parameters that I obtained from my MathCAD script. Uh, we're not going to use that right now, but, but we will be using this to actually validate the design that uh, the MathCAD script uh, gave us. Um, so in terms of the control of this switch uh, in the switch model, um, uh, eventually it will be controlled by my closed loop controller design. Okay, so the Objective is to regulate the output voltage, so that is given as a reference compared with the measured output fed through the um, controller, and that will uh, feed into this uh, PWM block to control the switch. Okay. But now my objective uh, to begin the controller design process is to get the um, um, the phase angle of just the plant uh, at the crossover frequency. Okay, um, so essentially to get the transfer function from simulation assuming that I do not know the transfer function analytically for let's say for more complex um, um, converters. Okay. So the way to do that is to perturb the duty ratio. So that's what I'm doing here. So um, Plex has um, um, under uh, control there is um, this uh, uh, small signal analysis group uh, in that you have a small signal perturbation, small signal response, and you can also do a complete uh, loop gain using the small signal gain block. Okay. So uh, in this, uh, for the for this objective of getting the um, um, loop, uh, the, getting the um, D to V O transfer function, uh, I use this perturbation, uh, small signal perturbation block, connect that in series with my con, uh, in series with this. Um, um, nominal value of D. So this this constant is we were reference over V. So that's the uh, nominal D uh, at the operating condition. Um, and then I also put the um, small signal uh, response uh, block at the um, output here. So this is the measured output voltage. So when I do the uh, small signal analysis, uh, I will get the transfer function from this um, D D tilde to the output voltage uh, V O tilde. So the analysis is uh, go to simulation um, analysis tools and uh, do an impulse response analysis. Okay. Uh, the other option is to do an AC sweep, but it takes much longer. And um, uh, so I recommend using impulse response analysis. Okay. So here you have to give a system period, uh, give that as the switching period. Um, you, you can look at the help uh, of the Plex to see exactly what system period uh, uh, signifies and how you uh, give the correct value but for um, uh, this type of um, uh, control design problems you can use 
just uh, switching period, which is 1 over F. Specify the frequency range of interest. Um, I'm specifying 10 hertz up to about 40 kilohertz. So that's above my bandwidth of 10 kilohertz. Um, amplitude default value is 1 e to the minus 3. Just leave it there. And here, this is um, you have to specify you want the Bode plot from which perturbation input to which response output. Um, so, in our case, I wanted the D to be what runs the function, and um, the perturbation on the um, um, to the D was I defined that as D tilde. This was a small signal perturbation block, and my response, as you can see, um, it is one block called response that is put at the output. So, I want the D tilde to be um, sorry. I just uh, select the response here. Okay. Uh, start analysis, and this is what uh, you would get. Um, so in this, <coughs> uh, in this body plot, um, okay, um, we are interested in the uh, phase angle of this um, plant gain at omega c, which is 10 kilohertz. So you can just type in uh, 10 kilohertz in the uh, frequency range. Um, so you can see I typed in 10 kilohertz for cursor 1 and uh, if you look at the second plot which is the top is the magnitude bottom is the phase plot so if you look at the second plot uh, what you get is uh, minus 108.001 degrees uh, so if you compare that with the MathCAD values uh, which was minus 108.2 so it's uh, very close so either of the two methods you can use to get the phase angle of the plant at omega c then uh, coming back to the MathCAD script, uh, so we have determined this phi cis, um, and then we can use that to calculate the phase boost uh, that is required uh, for this uh, control system. And this is the uh, um, expression for that, it's the phase margin required, in our case 60 degrees, uh, minus 90, minus the uh, phi cis that we just calculated. Um, and remember that MathCAD calculates everything in radians, so we need to do the appropriate conversion. So the phi boost um, required turns out to be 78 degrees um, and that would uh, call for a type 2 system. Okay? So we, we use uh, type 2 and uh, the next step is to calculate this um, factor, the k factor, k and uh, the expression for that we derived earlier uh, is given here and that comes out to be 9.678 and with that we can obtain the location of the 0 and the pole. 0 is uh, 10 kilohertz over k. Uh, omega p is um, 10 kilohertz, which is actually 2 pi 10,000 radians, um, radians per second uh, times uh, omega c is omega p. Okay? And the actual values come out to be these, and these are uh, in radians per second, 6.5 um, kilo radians per second, and this is a much larger uh, frequency. So those are the um, pole zero locations of my type 2 controller. The uh, the last remaining parameter to be calculated is this constant gain Kc. The suggested method was to um, get the complete loop gain uh, at the crossover frequency with the uh, Kc set at 1. Okay. So the GPF is, that's my plant, and this uh, entire thing is the controller. And um, notice that this should have been Kc over yes, and to determine Kc, I initially put that as 1. Okay. So I get this entire gain at um, omega C. So I call this a GOL pre, and at that magnitude at J omega C, um, 1 over that, uh, as per our design method, is KC. Okay? And the KC comes out to be 4.5, um, 10 to the 3. And uh, so that um, completes my controller design. So the actual controller to be implemented in, uh, in simulation or in hardware is, uh, is this transfer function. Okay? And... Um, uh, I also went ahead and verified uh, in MathCAD that um, these values are accurate. So the way to verify that is to make sure that the entire loop gain has a magnitude of 1 at um, at s equals j omega c, and that is done in this part. So the loop gain is gc, the controller, times g plant at uh, omega c, and it, MathCAD calculates that to be 1. So that verifies. And the other thing is uh, the angle of the uh, complete loop gain at uh, omega c should be minus 120 degrees uh, so that is because we want a 60 degrees phase margin so um, minus 180 uh, plus 60 uh, gives me minus 120 as the required phase angle of the complete loop gain and that also matches
Okay. So that uh, this then is my final controller with these being the, the three parameters that we just designed.